Hi, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video and an assembly video on a cage that was sent to us by Wynola Ranch. Uh, the cage is a single tier, single unit cage. Uh, they call it their 22 inch quail cage community. Um, so we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, basically show you um, what was sent to us and what you've got to do to assemble this cage and get it ready for use. Okay, so the box came nicely packaged. Um, it had uh, banding on the box and the uh, top and bottom were also stapled together. So it was uh, very well protected during shipping. Um, also inside the box, uh, looks like the entire cage unit was wrapped in bubble wrap. So that's gonna help protect it. Uh, looks like here we've got an envelope uh looks like the instructions there <clears throat> and then we've got a little gift package it's got some uh, quail egg scissors and some leg bands and then another package that has the hardware and a nice little made in usa sticker so uh, that's great okay let's get underneath all this bubble wrap oh okay the cage looks really nicely wrapped. I mean, they've even got the cage shrink wrap inside the bubble wrap. Uh, it looks like the cage is pretty much assembled with exception of the, uh, the leg stands. So we'll go ahead and get this up on the table and uh, get it unwrapped and show you what parts came with it and uh, go ahead and install the uh, leg stands on the cage. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this uh, shrink wrap cut off of here and show you uh, all the features of this cage. Okay, so it looks like the cage is pretty much um, completely uh, assembled with exception of adding the legs onto it. Uh, what I want to do is read uh, to you some of the information that I gathered from the Winola Ranch website. Uh, this is a 22 inch um, all wire community quail cage. Uh, the dimensions are 23 and a half inches wide by 24 inches deep and 18 inches high. Uh, it's a single unit cage community setup, but they say that uh, if you contact them, they can um, help you out with multiple stacking units. So uh, the cage is made from 14 gauge welded wire and uh, it's got a uh, high quality galvanized steel PVC coated floor in it, which is uh, pre-sloped. Uh, so you have the egg rollouts on it, which is nice. Um, another thing about the floor that I like is it is half inch by one inch uh, welded wire, which helps to reduce um, manure buildup like you get with the uh, half by half. Um, the feeder and tray are made of a galvanized sheet metal. Uh, I really like this feeder. Uh, it's notched so you can hang it on the cage. Um, it's also got a lip on both sides, so hopefully that will help prevent uh, uh, feed waste. Um, saying that the cages are shipped assembled and the only assembly required is adding the legs. Uh, the cage comes with true drinkers, which are pre-hung, and the hoses are pre-assembled for you. Um, the sheet metal tray, the metal feeder, and the stands. Uh, also, they sent a water container with this cage. Um, looks like it's got a uh, tire uh, valve stem in it, uh, which is pretty ingenious, actually, because I know on some of my cages, I use the five gallon buckets, and I use, try to plumb it with PVC pipe, and it seems like I always have a hard time with them, you know, wanting to leak and whatnot. So that's pretty ingenious. It looks like you just drill a hole and uh, pull the valve stem through and it it locks right in there what i'll probably do is uh, get a little bit bigger bucket than this and uh, drill me a 7 16 hole put this valve stem in there and that way i don't have to fill the water up quite so often okay so according to the uh, instructions uh basically it says just stand the cage up on its side uh, take one of your your leg stands uh, it's got a piece of angle vent uh, galvanized metal on it. 
I'm sure that that goes inside so your tray has something to rest on. And if you look on the uh, sides of the cages, it's got some slotted uh, cutouts for your uh, bolts to go through. Okay, so for tools, what you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver and either a 7 16 inch wrench or a, uh, an adjustable wrench. I've got both here, so. <clears throat> yeah, suddenly seems pretty straightforward on this. Just get your bolts in. And then I guess going through the front door of the cage, uh, we are going to put these nuts on the back side. Might be able to do this like this. Yeah, instead of trying to reach through the, uh, the door of the cage, I think it's a little bit easier to just take the uh, nut, go stick your fingers through the wire and uh, thread it on that way. Okay, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is just lightly snug these up just to uh, hold it in place. I'm gonna flip it over and I'll do the other side. Okay, so we've got uh, the legs on, and uh, we can take and put our manure tray in. That just slides in from the front or the back, I imagine. And then we got to uh, hook up our, our water container to the hose, uh, which seems pretty simple. Um, it's just got, they've got a... Uh, little clamp on here bring that clamp closer to the edge we'll slide that on and then we'll move this clamp up over the threads and then that will just sit on top of the cage uh, I think I might cut that well I guess I could leave it long if you wanted that bottle sitting somewhere else but if you wanted it on top of the cage you could always uh, trim that back a little bit uh, now for the feeder I believe they've got it set up to where it will hang right here on the front of the cage. You can still access the, uh, the door to get in the cage. You can easily reach the water cups and all around the door. It's got a little ring here. It looks like a hog ring. Uh, you just lift that up. The door opens and uh, then when you let it go, it, it slides back down. I guess that's to keep the, uh, the door, you know, securely closed. So that yeah, looks like a neat little cage setup. I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to take this cage out into the shop and I'll put some birds in it. And uh, like I say, I'll probably rig up a different uh, water container just so I've got a little more volume of water. Uh, but we'll get some birds in it and we'll, we'll test it out for a week or so. And then we'll come back and we'll do a complete review video on this uh, Wynola Ranch uh, cage. So guys, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so. It helps me out and you'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. I want to thank you for taking the time and uh, we will see you on the next one. Be sure to join us uh, in about a week or so and we will uh, give you the complete review on this cage setup.